In this video, I am going to explain session 1, appreciate the concept of database management system of unit 3, relational database management system. Now here, the first one is database. What do we mean by database? So a database is an organized collection of data. We can visualize it as a container of information also. Means actually whatever data we have, the data is to be stored in a proper manner. So that whenever this is needed to access information from the stored data, so that can be done very easily. So because of that, whatever data we have, that always is to be stored in a proper manner. So database is used to store our data in a proper manner. So whenever we need some information, so that can be accessed from the stored data that is available in the database easily and correctly. So that is the database here. Now, just to explain the purpose of database more, three examples I am going to consider. First one is rooms in hotels. Actually, in hotels, many rooms are there. In some hotels, we can see that more than 100 rooms are there. So, detail of all the rooms are need to be maintained, such as how many rooms are vacant, how many rooms are busy, how many rooms are already booked. So, this complete detail is to be kept properly so whenever someone is uh, doing the booking that time that person will be able to know that is a room in that particular hotel is free or not or vacant or not so for this purpose details of all the rooms of the hotel is needed to store in a proper format so for that database is needed second one is a stationary shop so in case of the stationary shops or in case of other shops also various products are there now details of all the products is need to be stored properly so that vendor will be able to know that a particular product is available in how much quantity so that is and if suppose product is about to end in the go down so that vendor can give the demand to the supplier again so in this way uh, details of all the products those are in the shop is needed to be stored properly for demand and supply now next one is the school now in case of a school what is generally happening that whenever a student with parents going to the school for admission so in that case first of all during the admission parents are filling a form and in that form parents are providing 20 or more details about the student as well as about themselves also so in that situation this complete data is needed to be stored properly so in future whenever this data is needed can be accessed easily so for such case also database is needed so database is what this we can consider as one container and this container we are using just to store our data properly because in future this data can be needed or we need some information from this data so if data is stored in a proper manner so in that case very easily we can get the information from the stored data so that is the purpose of the database just to store the data properly so in future information can be very easily accessed from the stored data now after that next one is database management system so a database management system is a software package with computer programs that controls the creation, maintenance and use of a database. So database management system is actually a category of software and this category of software is used for the creation, maintenance and use of a database. As we know now that database is used for the proper storage of the data. So just to do this task, software is needed in the computer and software that is needed for creation, maintenance and use of database is database management system. Now this database management system software package is also allows organization to conveniently develop databases for various applications. For example, in case of shopping malls, what is happening there that shopping malls are generating the bills by using or by scanning the barcode that is available on the product. So now on the computer that is available on the point of sale, there only one application is available and that application is actually connected with the database and whenever a barcode is scanned with the help of that barcode, complete details of the product is coming from the database to the computer that is available on the point of sale and thereafter in this way billing is done. So what is happening here that one application is there in the computer that is available on point of sale and that application is connected to the database and that database is containing details of all the products those are available in the shopping mall. So in this way database management system software is here 
helping the organizations to create the databases as per the requirement of the client or as per the requirement of the application so in case of shopping mall one database is created specifically for the shopping mall application and this is done by using the dbms software now as in the computer whenever you want to prepare or whenever you want to create a text document for that we are using word processing softwares for example microsoft word libreoffice writer or open office writer in the same manner whenever you want to store our data in the table format and if we want to do mathematical calculations on our data in that situation we are using spreadsheet programs for example ms excel or libreoffice calc or open office calc so in the same manner where dbms is one category of software as we have word processing software and spreadsheet programs as in the word processing we have ms word libreoffice writer in the same manner in dbms we have a very long list of softwares available for example oracle ibm db2 microsoft sql server microsoft access post gre sql mysql fox pro sqlite and open office space now in this unit 3 we are going to use open office based software to create database and for the storage of the data in the database now after this next one is data can be organized into two types so first of all here i want to tell you that in the database now data is stored in the table format means whatever data we have as per that data table is created and complete data is stored in the table format so now whenever we have very small data so in that case one table is sufficient in the database so whenever we have our complete data in one table only of the database so that data organization is called flat file but if in the database two or more tables are created for the storage of the data so in that case it is called the data is organized in the relational form so in the database whenever one table is there so in that case data is organized in the flat file form so that is called flat file and if in the database two or more tables are there so that is called data is organized in the relational form now examples of the flat file for example i want to keep details of class 10th students for example their roll number their name address uh, parents name and contact number as well as other card number also so if i want to keep these details or if i want to store these details of class 10th student so in that case one table is sufficient for me so in that situation there will be only one table in the database so that is flat file but suppose in a school one table is needed to keep details of all the students one more table is needed for the library and that will contain details of book issued and submitted by students of the school and one more table will be needed to keep details of purchasing done by students from the store so here as you can see in this example three different tables are needed one table is for students details second table is for library books submission and issue and third table is needed for the purchasing uh, done from the store so here in this database as three tables are there so that is going in the category of relational so whenever we have very less amount of data that is called flat file and if we have two or more tables with huge amount of data so that is the relational so that is here data can be organized into two types one is flat file and second one is relational so if in database only one table is there that is flat file but if in database two or more tables are there that is relational and if our data is in less amount then flat file is sufficient but if data is in the huge amount so in that case we need relational so that is about the data organization in two types now next one is database server now as we need computer to run softwares for the storage of data so the computer that is used for the purpose of holding the actual database and running only the dbms software so that computer is called database server so uh, in this case one computer is reserved for this specific purpose and the purpose is what just to store the complete data in the database and second one this computer is running only the dbms software so that is the database server a computer only for the storage of data in the database format and to run the dbms software for example oracle open office base ms access etc now next is rdbms so rdbms is relational database management system and this is introduced by 
EF code in 1969 and according to the RDBMS model, data whatever is there in the database is to be stored in the table format. So that is the key point of RDBMS model that is relational database management system. Now next is when data is stored in the table format then there are some terms related to the table and that you should know. First one is as you can see on my screen one table is there and this table is containing five columns. So here first one in the RDBMS table is called relational. So here one relational is available and second one as you can notice five columns are there roll number name class section city so columns here are actually called fields so that's why on the top i have marked all the columns and fields next one is as you can see that here four students data is available one is Venus, second sumit third sachin and fourth one is amar so here in this table details of four students are available so here these four rows contain details of four different students is called records so here in this table we have four records so here the first row is not called record our details are starting from the second row so second third fourth and fifth these four rows are called records so here in this table we have four records means details of four different students so here we can say rows are called records in case of rdbms and one more thing columns are also called attributes and rows are also called tuples these are the other terms for the columns and rows after that next one is inside the cell or at the intersection of the row and the column the cell we are getting so that is containing what value so for example here i have selected one cell containing the value amar so whatever is available inside the cell that is called value and last one is as you can notice that one record i have selected and that record is a second record here containing details of summit so that is called one item so here as you can see that we have four records so this table is containing details of four different items so this is all about the database concept so here i am just telling again that in the rdbms table is called relational thereafter columns are called fields and attributes and rows are called records or tuples and whatever is available or entered inside the cell that is called value and complete detail that a particular record is containing that is called item so here these are the terms that are ex covered in the session one of unit three two more terms are remaining that is primary key and foreign key and that topic i will explain in the next video so this video now i am going to end here